Everybody, it's face. We're going to continue to go for these achievements again to reset. We are playing Echo, we are duplicating into each hero and then getting those heroes' achievements so that we can get every achievement in the game for every character without actually playing those characters. Let's take a look at Ash's short fuse. In order to get this achievement, you have to shoot the dynamite at 30 meters away. I don't know how far away meters are, but it's about this distance. My intention here was to get the Ash with it, so I figured I'd shoot her once, get her low, so that I could then kill her with the dynamite. But oops, she died, so we're just hoping for the best here. Hey, and we got it. Complete. Next up is Widowmaker's Smooth as Silk. This is the one where you're supposed to grapple into the air and then headshot somebody. I'm not good enough to do that as Widow. I got lots of footage of me missing lots of shots. Nobody wants to see that. But here's here's how you do it the uh, easy way. You just kind of walk off a ledge and boop, get that headshot. Next up is Winston's Anger Management. In order to get this one, you have to go into the Primal Rage as Winston and then hit everybody on the opposing team. It's get six, six hits, you don't have to kill anybody. The only real requirement here is that the entire other team is alive and that you can bounce to them. You got lots of time and you have lots of health, so you're not gonna get knocked out of echo form too quickly. It's just a matter of the other team being, being close enough so that you can hit everybody. Nice, good shit everyone. Oh yeah. Anger management's done. So next up we're gonna go for Farah's clearing the area. This is get an environmental kill with her concussive blast, which really the only real requirement is getting a map that has some environmental holes, which uh, quite a few do. And this is one of the uh, happening spots, and I lucked out and got a double kill, though you only have to get the one. The next one is the one that I would say is uh, more difficult, takes a little more skill. Though you could do it on any map, you don't have to have some environmental deaths. But it's get four kills while in the air. You can do this with concussion, environmental kills, with your ults, or just shooting rockets. In this case, I had to do a little bit of uh, ulting and rocket shooting. The good thing about trying this with Echo is you do build the ults really fast. And theoretically, you could probably ult twice before hitting the ground. I got v very lucky. With both of Ferris done, let's take a look at D.Va's game over. This is the one we teased in the intro. I have found that trying to get D.Va when she's out of mech is good because then she can't eat up all of your shots. So you can actually build your ult. Having a Roadhog around is always a great way to build up your ult. And really, this is a very RNG achievement to chase. At least for me, I haven't found any really good strategies. You're just kind of lobbing your mech and hoping for the best. And every every once in a while you roll a critical 20 and you, you get uh, at least four done with it. Oh, 
Objective A captured. Commence attack on Objective B. And let's book into this with Ash's other served up achievement. This is the one where you have to build ults, throw out Bob. Bob will launch somebody in the air, and then you have to kill them before they hit the ground. No time to cool down. Uh, you may have noticed that I had a confirmation button to hit in that particular format. This is some tech that was told to me on stream. You can set to where you have to confirm who you're duplicating into so you don't accidentally click on somebody you didn't want. It does give you a little bit of time buffer. So we'll be probably seeing that a lot more because I think it uh, is helpful. So let's ceremoniously move this guy up. So that's ones we're going to look at this week. I said we were going to stick to just um, fun fun times and getting, getting achievements. But I did want to show you a match that um, indicates one of the one of the many difficulties in chasing on this achievement and why trying to get all the achievements as echo is hard mode i have found trying to regulate how good you're playing is like an extra an extra variable that you don't normally think about while you're playing her ult charge is very slow so when a map goes this well and this quickly you may not even get an opportunity to try to get one of the achievements this is what it looks like when I'm doing too good. Please enjoy this match that no achievement happens, but I get, you know, I just want to show off a little bit how well I can play Echo. Uh, this is not really conducive to getting the achievements, but maybe it will be entertaining. And if you are still here, hit like, subscribe, show your friends, watch, watch the other ones again. Come back next time. Soon we will have the next video. And we'll get to the end of all of these sooner or later. All right, love you. High fives. So yeah, this is a time where I attempted Doomfist. I was trying to get up on the building to the right to surf a little bit and get to the, the full damage, the 125 on his elbow drop. Uh, it just didn't happen. Don't know why the E didn't come out. So we still got to work work at doing some Doomfist and remembering how it goes. But it was our only opportunity on this map in this particular match. So uh, yeah, it didn't, didn't integrate. That was just a little, a little extra for free. I'm not saying buy again. The buy happened before this. This is like, this is like a postscript. All right, later. Lifting off. Repairing internal circuitry. <laughs> Heroes 